right, so this is going to be day two of either seven or eight day. Uh, it's the same strat for both. So starting out here, we're going to be kind of stuck in this uh, in this starting area. We just want to throw a couple more Pikmin in it and put most of them on this wall. So I'll just explain version differences while I'm doing that. So um, there's the Wii versions and the uh, the GameCube versions. The Wii versions are just you know for the same region, the Wii version is faster uh, because you can skip uh, the end of day cutscenes just by pressing A, which saves like 30 seconds per day. Um, and then, other than that, the slowest version by far, for GameCube at least, is the PAL version. Um, because it, they changed this on the Wii version, but for the, for the GameCube version, the PAL runs at a different frame rate, and it's like 16% slower, so it's significantly slower. Um, like in an hour long run, that's like you know, 10 minutes. And then, other than that, the Japanese version is 8 seconds slower than the American version because the text is its the same speed that you can skip through it, um, but the secret safe weighs 85 on Japanese, whereas it only weighs 40 in American, uh, so it takes about 8 seconds longer to carry back. Alright, so coming up here is the first bit of RNG. I need to get some nectar out of this grass patch here, um, so let me just wait for this wall to be done. And hopefully I get some nectar. Let's see. It's maybe an, a 90% chance you get nectar from this patch. It's different for every patch, but you don't need everyone nectared, uh, just most of them. And the way I try to get as many nectar as possible is right when I see the nectar, I whistle around me, so I call back everyone that's trying to pluck nectar, and I just try to sea stick them all around the nectar. Alright, so starting off here, we want to put 18 on this uh, red um, 10 pellet, and then use the rest to grab these bull boards. Um, because those bull boards didn't drop any pellets, I'm going to grab that one yellow pellet there. And then we're going to come back and grab people that were on the 10 pellet and continue farming over here. Right, that was actually pretty good luck. Um, it's random whether these guys drop pellets or not, so when they do drop pellets you get a few extras. And I just want to start plucking as soon as I get back. You want to have, you know, 77 or 78 um, Pikmin grown, uh, a red Pikmin grown, I should say. So let me just wait till everyone's back, and then I will whistle them all. And I want to throw four flowers here, and those will be used later uh, to break down a bridge by the end of the day. And now just put everyone on that, and grab the people that we threw here earlier, and we're going to use them to break down the bridge. We only have 76, that's that's fine though. Um, you really only need like 73 reds going into Forest Naval, so having 76 is okay. And if, if any die, there's some backup uh, enemies that we can use to grow reds near the end of the day. Alright, so now that we have everyone, we're going to walk over to the gate. The gate should be just about done when we get there. Just make sure uh, if you see anyone trip, you should pick them up. Ah, yeah, there we go, the gate's done. So now we're going to kill this guy as we pass by, 
And I want to make sure I have one red. I'm going to throw him over there before I activate him. And he'll just help carry um, that Bulbor I killed for the yellows. And then I'm going to immediately turn around and use the remainder of my Pikmin to kill this Bulbor. And I'm just seasick throwing as fast as I can here. And then pluck this guy, and then press X as soon as you pluck him. Um, so you'll dismiss all your reds, and only the yellow will be in your party after this cutscene ends. And then throw him over here. And now we want to put all of our reds on the side here a little bit. And grab that one. And then we want to pluck two of the yellows that have grown and use them to grab this. Alright, so there's already red on there, so we don't need to use that red to help. So just grab those like I did there. And we want to pluck three of our yellows here. Only three, because there's three bomb rocks here. Oh, okay, four actually is fine. Um, but I want to throw these these yellows um, kind of in you know, on my side of the bomb rocks. If you throw them too far, for some reason they just kind of like look dumbfounded. Like if, if you throw them over the bomb rocks, I should say. They just kind of stand there dumbfounded and, and don't know what to do with the bomb rocks. So let me just grab the bombs now, the remainder of the bombs. And now we're going to bomb this wall. It takes three bombs. Um, and grab some extra bombs if you missed them earlier. And pluck the other six yellows. Alright, so that should be all the yellows we need to grow for the run. Um, you can grow a couple extras if you're nervous, um, but you, you really shouldn't need them, uh, and you can get some backups in Forest Naval if they die as well. So right now you want to zoom out the camera so that no one trips, because um, if someone trips or gets, say, stuck on this wall that I just passed, uh, then they can wake up the bull bear, when, or sorry, the bull vorb, when they're trying to get back in your party. So just make sure you have everyone here and hug this right wall so none of them pick up that yellow pellet. And try to put some yellows in here so they can grab some more bombs and put the rest of your Pikmin right on this part. And some people are going to fall off that part, so just make sure you have all of them. Alright, 27 plus, yep, alright, we have everyone. And we're going to use our Bomb Pikmin to blow up this wall over here. Again, it takes three. And as soon as we do that, we're going to whistle everyone here. And we're going to try to um, nectar all of them. So we want to try to grab a Flower Pikmin if we can. Let's see, um, there's one. So grabbing a Flower Pikmin, what, what that does is it puts all of the flowers in the front. So you can just throw him and then C-stick forward, and the flowers will be the ones to start trying to grab the nectar instead of some leaves. And we got all of them flowered off of one uh, nectar there, which is great. Um, if that doesn't happen, say you don't get nectar out of that patch, there's still that patch we used at the beginning of the day that isn't dead yet, so we could try to use that as well. So now, we're going to kill a couple bull bor borbs here after we save anyone who's tripping. I'm just going to swarm them, and over here as well, and while he's dying, we're going to throw four at that wall to destroy it, and while that one's falling, we're going to kill those pellet posies. Um, that is, you know, the purpose for that is twofold. One, uh, I'll explain later, but the other one is, we don't want to be pushing our Pikmin up against that wall as it falls, because for some reason with that wall in particular, if you're pushing your Pikmin up against it when it falls, it'll push them under the map and they'll die. So, not all of them, but a couple of them. And if it's reds, that's fine, but if it's yellows, that's pretty annoying. So just, you know, kill those pellet posies and then walk through here. So I want to get my bomb Pikmin. And so we have this wall over here. The intended way of what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use blues to destroy that wall because it's in water. But what you can do is if you long throw the yellows uh, right up to the edge 
um, on the cliff here to the right side of the wall. They'll actually walk over to the wall and they'll destroy it themselves with the bomb rocks. There's not exactly a setup, but just like, you know, right here. Just long throw and they walk over to the wall. It's actually slightly faster to do this later, but I have a buffer of two bombs right now, so I like to do it right now. Um, that one, that's probably the hardest part of this day, is, is getting that consistent. Um, so just, you know, find a spot that's consistent for you, it's different for everyone. You can try to copy where I was, I just, you know, stood there and then did a long throw, waited, stood there, did a long throw. So, um, that, that one will take some time. But now we want to kill this guy. And we want to kill the bigger bull board as well. And then this small guy as well. Alright, so now we want to grab our reds. And I want to check. I want to see, okay, so I have 72 in my party. I want 30 to be on the Nova Blaster, so I should have 42 in my party uh, when I'm done with them. So, or when I'm done throwing, I should say. So there we go. And now we'll grab our yellows and put them on these bomb rocks. And there's 15 bombs in there, so you'll always have enough bombs for your yellows. And as soon as you see them grab, you can just keep moving. And you want to dismiss. The way I dismiss it there is I walk forward and then I do, I do C up on the C stick and down on the control stick and I press X. That'll make the reds be kind of up top and that'll get them out of the way of the piece that's going by so they won't latch onto it. And that'll put my yellows over here. So I want to throw four yellows over there. Um, so coming back to why I destroyed those pellet poses earlier, uh, if you don't destroy them um, and you put your yellows here, if they're too close to the pellet posies, sometimes they'll throw their bombs at the pellet posies, which one, waste a bomb, and two, if you're near it, it'll kill some of your Pikmin. So that's why I killed the pellet poses earlier. So now we have this wall that takes nine bombs, but I have 11. Uh, one thing that's a little annoying about this wall is there are some male sheer, uh, sheer grubs nearby, which can kill your Pikmin. So just try, try to throw your bombs near the bottom side of the wall and you can one cycle it, you know, get all nine bombs at once, but that's pretty risky. So I recommend even probably a three cycle for a beginner and a two cycle for a more advanced player. So. There we go. If we're lucky, sometimes the male shear grubs will die in the explosion, but that doesn't usually happen. All right, and just get rid of any excess bombs and then grab these reds that you have from before. And now we want to kill all of the sheer wigs, or sorry, sheer grubs and bull borbs that are in this area. And so the thing about sheer grubs is um, if they grab one of your Pikmin in their mouth, uh, that Pikmin will die no matter how many uh, Pikmin you have swarming the sheer grub. The one way you can save it is by throwing it on the head of the sheer grub. Um, so just to avoid that, I just throw them on the head immediately anyway, like don't even try to swarm, because you will lose Pikmin if you try to swarm them. So just throw them onto the head. And see these brown ones? Those are the male ones that you want to kill. The female ones, which are the lighter colored ones, they actually they don't do anything to your Pikmin. Alright, so I had one red die there. Oh no, actually no one died there. It's okay if a couple reds die, you just need to have 50 Pikmin here. Because it takes 20 for this part. So I want to have, you know, 53, so I need to have less than 33. And then it is 30 for this part. So I just put all 30 on there, or all 31. So now we're going to go fight the Cannon Beetle. Um, we're going to have about, you know, 34 to 39 uh, Pikmin when we do that. So there's a couple ways to fight the Cannon Beetle. I'll explain them all. Um, actually, there's a couple ways to deal with it. Only one of them is fighting. Uh, so first, throw all of your reds up on this ledge. And then, so I'm going to pause here real quick. You can either distract the Cannon Beetle or kill the Cannon Beetle. I highly recommend to beginners just to kill the Cannon Beetle. Because it only takes, you know, 10-15 seconds extra. You should have time in the day to do it. 
Um, and it's, you, you consistently will not really lose any Pikmin if you just kill the Cannon Beetle. If you distract the Cannon Beetle, uh, it's a little faster, but the Cannon Beetle can kill your Pikmin while they pass by. If you do, however, want to distract the Cannon Beetle, make sure to load him in a little bit, because his spawn position uh, is pretty terrible for if you try to distract him. So just load him in for a little bit, and then you can you know, deload him as soon as you see him moving. Alright, so I'm going to use my four bombs on that wall. Apparently I'm not. There we go. And I'm going to make a save state real quick. Um, actually, I'll make it after this cutscene. Alright, so I'm going to make a save state real quick so I can explain kind of the, um, the different things of what you can do here, and I'll, I'll show them both off. Save state, state 1, okay. So, the first thing is just kill him. Um, the way you do that is just, you know, make him look at you, throw in his snout when he sucks in, and then throw your Pikmin on his back. With this many reds, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, you just gotta see stick throw onto him. And then grab all your Pikmin and put them on the part. So that's what you do if you just want to kill him. That's pretty easy. The other thing you can do... Um, so this is how you try to distract him. Um, this may not even work. Uh, I have 34 Pikmin, so it's more likely to work than if I only had 30. But you want to make him face kind of to the bottom right. And you want to make him attack you, like suck in air as if he's about to uh, expel out a bomb. And then as soon as you see that, you want to zoom in the camera, which will deload him. And then just put all your Pikmin on the radiation canopy and leave the arena. And you just want to keep him off screen as much as you can. Uh, because basically things that are off screen in this game and not near Pikmin are generally deloaded. So ideally what you want to happen is you want him to be shooting a rock to the bottom right put your Pikmin on the radiation canopy and leave, and he'll load back in when the radiation canopy passes him, but he should be facing away from it, so ideally he can't turn fast enough to actually shoot it. So this is what it should like look like if you're trying to distract him. Let's, uh, come on, turn around here. This is the other, oh my god, this is the other reason I don't like trying to distract him, is, uh, he just does not want to cooperate sometimes. So you want to aim right about here. And then zoom in when you see him sucking in. Put everyone on the radiation canopy. And then leave. And just keep him off screen this entire time. And just keep walking, keep walking. Um, right about... Oh, okay. Yeah, see, some of them died. So that's why I don't like doing it that way. Uh, I, I much prefer just killing it because it can be inconsistent trying to distract him. So let me just load the safe state again. I'll kill him and then show you the rest of the day. He also just does not like to move towards you. Alright, cool. Have everyone just come on the radiation canopy and move on. Uh, yeah, distracting is definitely more of an advanced strat. Come on. Uh, there's a red. That's fine. I can leave him. Um, not the end of the world if you lose some reds here. Uh, if you are really low on reds, uh, you can grab one of those uh, sheer grubs from before. So now we should have some Pikmin here. Uh, you just want to separate them out and grab your reds you only want 40 or you only want you know around 40 so having too many can be uh it can get a little crowded and some might not grab the piece here so throw everyone up on this ledge and so there's a bulb orb here and he's kind of in the way so what we want to do is we want to distract him so that he'll just uh be trying to eat olimar as the pikmin pass by with the part and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to touch him to wake him up as we pass by with our pikmin Put the Pikmin on the part, and then move back with Olimar and try to bring him over the wall. 
The one thing to note about his AI is he aggroes on what's ever closest to him, not whatever he's facing. So, you know, if, if you're, if he's facing Olimar, but the Pikmin are closer to him, he'll turn around and start trying to eat the Pikmin. So you want to stay a little close to him with Olimar. So it should look basically like this. Also, one other thing to note, um, I want to touch him with Olimar to wake him up. I don't want Pikmin to touch him though, because uh, they'll latch onto him. So I want to stay away from my Pikmin when I whistle them here, so that I can touch him without my Pikmin touching him. All right, so just get him over here. Keep distracting him. Again, stay close to him. And as soon as this thing's through the uh, the little narrow part of the wall, uh, you're pretty good, and you can just you can just continue on. This is the area cutscene saying that we unlocked Forest Naval. Alright, so we want to clean up these reds here from before. And then we want to grab our other 40 Pikmin uh, from here and use them to grab the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. Or Dynamo? I think it might be Dynamo. All right, now I'm gonna try to get a cutscene skip here. So let me real quick explain how cutscene skips work. Whenever a part like this uh, goes into the base uh, and you collect it, you get a short cutscene uh, that says like, oh, you collected this part or whatever, here's some info. It's about like a, a nine second cutscene. And if you activate a text box on the same frame that the cutscene starts, then you skip the cutscene. And a really easy way to activate a cutscene is either press A on a part or on, uh, on a part that's not about to be collected or on the ship. I like doing up parts a little easier. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like, you know, it, it's one frame on parts and sometimes it's two frames on, on the ship. So let me try to show you how that works here. There we go. So that's a cutscene skip. And uh, you can just cancel it with that text box. And then as soon as all the pieces come in, uh, you can just end the day. Uh, I, I did leave that red behind over there, but that's fine. Uh, yep, that's about it. Actually, one other... Let, let me just uh, show you specifically what I meant with the backups. Um, if, if you were low on yellow, say a yellow died or a red died when you were fighting over here, you can try to collect one of these with the yellow or red, and that'll give you extra. Um, if you need some more insurance for Force Naval. But, uh, yep. That should be it. And moving on to Forest Naval. 